Hey everybody, Jim here, bringing you the third round of the December's Feast event. Here with me is my opponent, Faceface. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, yes, I'm Faceface, and this is my third and final match of the series, and uh, <laughs> we'll have to see how it goes. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it goes better than the rest of the series has gone so far. It's It's been a rough one for a lot of people. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we've determined deployment. And my opponent is the attacker and has taken the top deployment zone. Uh, this is Symbols of Authority. You can see the full pool in the description. So as its symbols, Defender has to place the first symbol marker. So that would be myself. And I am going to go ahead and place a symbol in the bottom left corner here. Cool. Mm -hmm. And I'll put one in the bottom right corner here. Because I am very original. The, I saw there was a discussion and clarification about what happens if the mm -hmm. fourth marker... You just have to put it as far away from the other markers as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, because, yes, someone, someone mathed out that you can actually make it illegal to place a fourth normally. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm honestly surprised Gaining Grounds went this long without somebody going, oh, hey, I can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. What is most inconvenient? This is hard to work out what sort of most inconvenient versus what is actually just allowing someone to walk down the flank and grab it. Do you know what I mean? It kind of... Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, especially with this map where you have... The, the two flanks are fairly clear um, and pretty well protected, actually. Um, but if they're out there, what, are, what else are they doing for you? You know. But I guess isn't it okay to just score four victory points? I'll stick this in this building right here. Does the 8-inch uh, rule also apply to your markers as well? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, what's the wording? From another oh. strategy marker, so yes. Cool. Okay, so you've, yeah, you've actually effectively blocked off the building there, which is cheeky. Uh, right, let's just get this on and have a, a we think. I think our last one will go in this little cranny right there. I think, uh, I think we're happy with that. Okay. Well, as attacker, I now have to ask you to uh, deploy one of your splits, and I think I would like to know where the dead rider is deploying. Wait. Uh, let's have a thing then. Uh, 
cool. I think that'll do for them. Okay. Well, I have to put all of my friends down now. So, I think we'll go... Mm -hmm. uh, Earl can hang out here. Oops, I did the wrong, hit the wrong button. There we go. Okay, that'll be my deployment. Nice, let me just uh, whack down the rest of the crew. Confusing myself. What? Other way around. Cool. I think we are. Good to go. Alrighty. Go ahead and shuffle. I've just moved. Uh, oh, I can't undo it. So I've just, I've just sh um, nudged this similar authority about from there to there. Oh, you just nudge um, it back. It's fine. If that's all right. Sorry. Yeah, it happens. It, it's finicky with Vassal. Uh, can lock them. Oh. Uh, cool. I will keep this hand. Moved. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, yes, and let me just set my stones as well. Uh, yes, I two. Shall keep this hand. Alrighty. Uh, well, let's. Oh, go good luck! I would shake your hand if we were in person, but uh... Uh, digital handshake and best of luck <coughs> and inish. Oh boy! Cool. Uh, I'm not. I'm not cheating that. So uh, mm -hmm. feel free to take it away. You know, I think I will let you have the first activation. Cool. Uh, also, I'm just going to start uh, a timer as well. Just we've got oh, that going. Yes. Cool. It's all right. Sweet. That's just started now. Uh, brilliant. Um, let's move some quartz markers. Uh, so quartz candle uh, number one is going to activate. Uh, he is going to light the way on his compatriots, mm -hmm. uh, who will uh, want to. Three. Um, we're just going to show in a slightly straight line. Um, one, two, three, uh, and then they themselves uh, will. Uh, two, three, four. Uh, as one walk and. Then it will go a wee 
move it further to I think that'll do. Cool. Uh, and there, yeah, well, just for the sake of using up an action point, they will uh, not set themselves on fire, but they will focus. Okay. Uh, sorry, they're meant to be there. There we go. No, they won't focus. Good. Cool, over to you. Hmm. I think. I will spend my pass token. Cool. Uh, the other corpse candle in that case will uh, trundle forward. So, uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. And there we go. Okie dokie. Hmm. What to do? I guess we have to activate a model now. Um, we'll go with the Hodgepodge Emissary. And the Emissary is going to use plenty of wares on the Midnight Stalker. This requires a 6 and is a tactical, so my Concealment Aura doesn't put any penalties to me. Hey, it goes off. I will declare the built-in Something in My Pack trigger to attach a trinket. Um, I heal 1 for the effect. And my Midnight Stalker now has a pretty floral bonnet. Beautiful. That gives him Don't Mind Me. Mm -hmm. We're then going to use a Weary Road on Mancha. This will move Mancha 1, 2, 3 up the board. And drop a Scheme Marker right there. And then the Emissary is just going to go doot doot. And just kind of. Oh. Actually, let's undo all that nonsense. I will go there. Just a little bit. A little bit of movement. He's done. Sweet. Um. Da, 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 da. I think the uh, bone pile is going. Uh, will that happen now? No, it won't happen now. No, uh, the shield bearer is going to. Um, first of all, uh, where is my card for him? Uh, cool. So he's going to. Uh, First of all, shield slam the uh, Grave Golem in front of him. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll flip for that and relent. Oh, that's a wonderful 13. It's mm -hmm. exactly what we wanted. Uh, cool. Um, so yes, he shoves the Grave Golem forward um, a couple inches. Grave Golem takes one damage. Um, Line through there with mm -hmm. the shield bearer. I've managed to block Reaver in. That was silly. Oh, well. uh, cool. So yes, um, we will punch the uh, grave girl into there, uh, and then uh, the shield bearer is going to uh, charge the corpse candle. Mm -hmm. So we're going one, two, three, four. Oh, uh, one step too far. Uh, to there. Uh, and we will, uh, yes, uh, runic blade there. Um, flip that. That's fine. Relent. And uh, blows up the corpse candle, which drops uh, two pie markers. Mm -hmm. There. And a uh, quartz marker. Uh, goodbye, Colts Candle. 
<clears throat> and then with their bonus action, the shield bearer is going to uh, remove that quartz marker uh, mm -hmm. to give uh, the Grave Golem Reaver and the Bone Path our focus. A solid play. I really like it. Yes, apart from uh, <laughs> shoving Reaver in the corner there, I completely mucked it up, but there we are. She can yeah. trot around on her horse. That happens. I, she, yeah, and, and her horse will get her places. Um, hmm. What to do? I think I will have Earl Burns go. Now, Earl, he's a pretty okay totem. He's going to use Chain Gang. He's going to move zip three inches. And then Earl moves three inches. Earl is going to try stop dropping things. This requires a five to go off. Um, it is currently not, but I will cheat for it to go off. Uh, will I? Actually, I will not. I forgot Earl's not a showboat. Um, and we're just going to drop a piano right there. And then Earl's going to try dropping a second piano. Oh, wait, no. I failed the action. It didn't go off. I don't drop a piano. I try it again. This time I dropped the one piano I already dropped. There we go. Now cool. I'm not cheating you. <laughs> <laughs> That's Earl. Uh, sweet. Uh, cool. Uh, now the bone pile will... Uh, just mark who's moved. You've moved. Uh, the bone pile will focus and bury itself. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Uh, well... I think this is as good a time as any for Zip to go. Zip starts within three inches of the hodgepodge emissary and thus has plus one movement. Oh, as if he needed that. Yep, so he has now moved nine. Um, and what we're going to do is have him go here. And so his first trick, he's going to go there and he's going to drag Earl along with him because that's what he does. For his second trick, he's going to try up we go on your corpse candle. So this is stat, caught up. stat three against your size. Cool. So size two. Uh, so I'm on a 7 currently. And I'm on a 12. Cool. Uh, yeah, I won't, won't be cheating that. Okay. Uh, I won't either. So what we'll do is... I place you within 3 of your current location. And we're going to throw you... Uh, back here. Because you don't need to be next to that... Uh, center of the board nonsense and now I do two three four damage to you mm -hmm. you were at a seven you said uh yes seven to twelve is a negative twist take two whole damage he blows up gives another pile marker and another call cool. I've so he got rid of the quartz marker that we had out. Give me a second. Counters quartz marker. Flump. And right. off. Oh, we there we go. I'll be making some pianos next, but I'm going to double check the rules for drop versus create. Because I want to make sure that I can drop pianos that might be overlapping your pyre markers. Yes, I think that's fine. But I wouldn't quote me on that. Yeah, so... No problem doing a quick double check. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> this is quality uh, entertainment. Uh, uh, created markers can overlap non-impassable terrain, but they cannot overlap other markers. Created markers cannot be put into base contact with any models except the model creating them. So they yeah. cannot overlap other markers, period. Yeah. All right, well, then I cannot put it where those pyres are. But that's okay. Zip is going to use Drop the Pianos. He needs a five. And you know what? He will cheat that seven of tomes. And I will elect to, as a cost, which I should have done before I flipped, discard these two cards, the one and the three, to drop additional pianos. Cool. So we are going to drop three pianos, one plus the two that I uh, discarded. We're going to put one here. We're going to put one here. And we're going to put one here. And then we'll go ahead and we will turn on our boring conversation aura. This requires a seven. Cool. Gets it. So until the end, end phase, if you're within six of him and you take a non walk, you need a willpower 10 to succeed. And that is Zip. Now, Zip is a showboat. So because I cheated in action, I draw a card. Over to you. Sweet. Let me have a wee look. Um, yes, those pianos are going to get very annoying very quickly, aren't they? Mm -hmm. uh, let's have a think. The uh, feels like a bit of a waste, but I feel like it needs to happen. Uh, the grave golem, I think, is going to wake up. Mm -hmm. um, do we? Do we want that? Um, no. Okay, I'll tell you what. Um, the dead rider is going to wake up. I think. Um, so, uh, where are you, Grave Gunner? That's not what we want. We want Dead Rider. There he is. Uh, okay, so the first thing that the rider is going to do is uh, ride with me, mm -hmm. uh, with him and his pal Bet. Uh, so we need a six. So that mm. goes off. No high cards left. Uh, <laughs> so, yes, we will. Uh, let's see where we want to go. Uh, um. Now it seems as good a place as any. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and we will take Bet along for the journey. There. Um, what have we got left? Um, I think the... Seven. Uh, seven. And we're just going to focus there. Uh, and that is the end of the rider's turn. Okay. And while I'm thinking about it, if you'd like, feel free to use the poison condition to track your chasing fate tokens. As yes, a that's actually a very good shout. I was just going to do it on a notepad. But uh, let me... Ah, status, status, there we go. Uh... I... Cool, yes, over to you. Yeah, I think I will have... 
Hmm. What's the likelihood Bet gets into a sip? I don't know. I don't think she has unimpeded. I guess I will have Mancha activate. Mancha is within three inches of the emissary, so he's got a uh, happy move six. He is going to declare the charge action. He has rush, so he gets plus two inches when he charges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He is going to elect not to take the subsequent melee attack. And... He is not within two of a piano marker. I don't think he's going to get within two of a piano marker. Um, uh, instead, he is going to go ahead and try and toss Zip in the mud. Zip over Lent. And I'm just going to cheat this in just for showboat cycling purposes. Huh? Uh, zip will go two inches. And I'll end a condition. He has no conditions. Um, that'll be Mancha, and Mancha will draw a card from showboat. Um... Let me just have a wee think. to uh, walk and then char. Now, is anything, um, once we get in, so the only thing I'm going to have to do is this uh, pass a willpower tendril to charge you once I'm in that bubble, isn't it? Um, so correct. Let's... Anything that's not a walk action. Yeah. Cool. So, so let's... let's make sure we can do what? that. It'll be once for the charge and then once for the at attack generated by the charge cool okay that makes sense brilliant uh cool that's fine so um we will one two three four uh, let's just avoid any scenery nasty so one two three four five two five or six moving six moving. uh now just so remember there. the symbols are impassable terrain are they ah uh, mm -hmm. ah now that I completely forgotten, and that is a terrible place to then put a symbol. That was a bit thick. Um, mm, right, well, let's see if I can get out the other side of this terrain uh, with movement enough to charge. Uh, otherwise, we'll have to rethink the turn. So, uh, one, two, three. Uh, so that would be... Uh, like four, four, five, uh, and then probably say half an inch to there would be her whole movement. Um, and then what are we looking at for the range there? Three inch. I think that's fine. I think I can declare a charge from there without the terrain affecting me. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. So, yes, we will uh, charge zip. Mm hmm. So we'll flip for that. So she passes the charge jewel. Yes, indeed. So yes, we go. One, two, three. Uh, we just need one. That's fine. Uh, and then the attack action. So we'll flip target. Uh, oh. No, it doesn't quite pass. So I will cheat in. Uh, oh, 
oh, I really don't like this feature of Vassal where the cards stick together. Mm -hmm. It uh, doesn't help to right. Uh, what's her willpower five? Um, cool. So uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I will be. Uh, uh, you only have one attack on this, is that correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you have Trail of Gore. Um, oh, but you're not within three of the corpse. So. No. Are you... That's only a Trail of Gore, it's just a ski marker. Oh, not even a corpse. All right, um, okay, here we go. Cool. Uh, cool, so I'm currently... Oh, sorry, I'm positive flipping. Mm -hmm. uh, we're on 13 at the moment. I am on a 12, and I am, you know what, I think I am going to, I don't want to be slow, I'll go to 16. I'm going to uh, cheat in this 13 of masks. Mm. Uh, for 19 and declare the uh, one with the knight trigger okie dokie cool uh, so uh, uh, negative flips to, for damage mm -hmm. cool so that's just two damage he takes two and uh, bet then buries herself the Cool, uh, and that is the end of Bet's turn. Okay. Go ahead and remove her from up there. Oh, yes, sorry. Bad habit. Good. First mate, um, he's going to walk up. One, two, three, four, five, six. He is going to try and leap. And he gets it. And. That puts him to here. And you know what? He's going to declare a charge. And he'll go there. And he is going to bonk the dead rider with his anchor. Hmm? Now, Dead Rider is not terrifying, so I have stat six against your defense. Oh, fantastic. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, your total is six, then? Yep. Um, this feels actually pretty silly. I'm going to cheat to a seven and put the one of crows in for the slow trigger to give rider slow um you are hard to wound i think uh yes yeah so it'll be double negative to damage take week of two and i guess if you wanted to have spent your crow for one i'll just take damage, the two damage i think yeah Alright, and then the delay trigger is just slow, no uh, discards or nothing. And first mate's done, he did cheat, so he showboats. And... Uh, right, so uh, I think we can't avoid these bloody pianos anymore so uh the grave golem is going to uh plod forward um one two three actually let's just make sure we can get where we want to go uh, stop moving um i think i've moved him all over the place now let's get you back to where you are okay one Two, three, four, mm -hmm. and so I pick up some burning, and 
Yes, we are just going to destroy... Are they destructible one? The, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. the piano mm-hmm. is destructible. So, yeah, he's just going to get rid of the piano in front of him. Alrighty. Uh, all right. And uh, that is his turn. All right. Um, I guess what we'll do is... I will have the Midnight Stalker activate. He's going to try and leap. He does not. But he will cheat this in. He still will not. But because he cheated, he will showboat. Mm -hmm. And he will go one, climb up to and over to, to there. And then he will go one, two, three... And just kind of be on the edge of this box right here. He's done, and he showboats. Brilliant. Uh... Just got Lady Reva left. Uh, so I think. Okay. So I think the uh, first thing she is going to try and do is. Um, Thinks if he's just kissing the uh, two-inch range on that uh, pie marker, so I'm going to mm-hmm. use uh, the unquiet dead on it, mm-hmm. her little pulse. Um, so I've just got to flip a uh, four or more. Um, oh. oh well, <laughs> silly woman. Uh, cool. Uh, well, we'll flip in that. Uh, cool, so that goes off. So uh, Zip needs to be taking a uh, target for number 14 willpower duel or suffer two damage and gain one injured. I will need a nine for this to go off. That does not go off. I will cheat that in so it does. Cool. Uh, then let's just have a think. Uh, cool, so Reva will uh, walk for a bit. Uh, she's going to go uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, ah, I'm really sorry. I, um, I should have at the start of her activation. Uh, mm-hmm. I wanted to turn one of these pie markers into a corpse candle. Go ahead. Would you be? Is was that all right? Sorry. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, thank you very much. Uh, it'll just be this one on the left, uh, which will. I don't have to flip for anything. It just happens. Mm-hmm. So corpse. Goodbye, pie marker. Cool. Thank you for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I believe I've moved about four inches or so, so we'll probably finish about mm-hmm. too far. Let me just have a think. Um, we will keep ourselves there. Um, cool. And uh, so she picks up burning, finishing her movement there. Uh, and then she is going to uh, take a shot with um, Feed on Grief at Zip. All right. Uh, First not within two be inches of the boring spot, conversation. Though. Yes, that's fine. Um, flip for that. Oh, Ooh. well, yes, she is thoroughly not bored. Um, Before you do, Zip has mm-hmm. sputtering exhaust, so he has concealment. Cool. So you'll get um, nags unless you want to spend a burning. Which is exactly what is going to happen. Um, so uh, she's going to spend the burning uh, from herself, but she's going to get it back at the end of this because mm-hmm. she's standing in a fire. So I'm just going to leave it on for now. Uh, cool. So it's just a straight flip against your willpower. 17. Cool. So I'm currently on an 18 mm-hmm. with a siphon life trigger. Yes, you are. I will not cheat. Uh, no, neither do I, so I think we're on a, a negative flip. Mm-hmm. Cool. So that's just two damage. I will munch a soul stone here and prevent it. Brilliant. Uh, that's the end of her. Uh, is she going to any worth doing her bonus action at all? 
No, I don't think it is. Oh, you had cool. self in life, right? Uh, yes, but uh, she so I doesn't. Take, I take one extra. Oh, damage. sorry. Yes, thank you. That's well done for catching that. Yes, sorry. That is that's three damage. All good. Alrighty. Um, you said that's a Riva. Did you have anything else for her to do? No, she had a bonus. I'm not going to use her bonus. Okay. Well, I only have the Iron Skeeter left. And he is going to buzz buzz. Seven inches. Um. Have you... So I always forget to prompt. Have you taken a pass token for me summoning the corpse candle? I have, yes. Cool. But thank Sorry. you for checking. Um... Because I often uh, f like to remind folks to, um, with summons, uh, reading is hard. Fly with me. There we go. The Iron Skeeter will fly with the Midnight Stalker. Mm-hmm. And I need a 7 for this to go off, so I will cheat the 8 for it to go off. I will just leapfrog the previously cloned one. So I place anywhere within 4. And we're going to put the Skeeter here, and then put Midnight Stalker in base contact. And then the Skeeter is just going to fly up to here with its second action. And it's a showboat. Is it a showboat? It's a showboat. Okay. And that's me activated. Uh, cool, I have nothing left to activate. Oh, yeah, uh, your candle. Ah, uh, yes, got a candle, it's just a summoned. Uh, so that's just going to... Uh, tell what we'll do. Uh, we will use uh, Light the Way to shove this quartz marker um, up to zip. Mm -hmm. Boring conversation first. Uh, yes, thank you. That's something I'm going to need constant reminding of. Um, it's okay. Where are you? Willpower two. Willpower two. So we're going to need. Ah, oh, he's fine. Incredibly <laughs> willpowerful corpse candle. Uh, so yes, that goes there, and then the corpse candle is going to walk. Uh, so we will go um, two, three, four, and think we'll go all the way up to sip. Okay. Into base to base. I just want to make sure I've got that. Uh, are you going to move? There we go. Uh, to there. Uh, so it takes another burning and is in base to base with zip. Sounds good. That's the turn. Um, lose Brilliant. That. We clear moved. Um, Take burning there, burning there. Well, I don't think Riva takes burning because she gained she not on my... from uh, uh, the pyre as well, right? Yes, so you are correct. Does shield, can shielded reduce to below zero? Or is it like armor mm -hmm. where it still has to take one Sh damage? Shielded can go yeah. to zero. Cool, brilliant, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, cool, uh, I don't think there's anything else to do. Alrighty, um, go ahead and reshuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I will discard this card and I will keep one card. I'll discard that one. I think I will keep this hand. I will not. I will stone cards. Um, okay. Um, so we'll get rid of you. And get rid of... Cool. Um, I'm just going to dash to the loo, if that's all right. I'll be yeah, we'll go ahead and pause back in a minute. Board. Okay, we're back. We've done our cards for the turn. It's turn two. We're about to do initiative. I have one pass from last turn. Go for it. I have a seven plus one. Uh, three. Um, I will not be cheating. Okay. I think I will elect to go first this time. Mm -hmm. 
And to the shock of, I think, no one, we'll go with Zip first. Mm hmm. And Zip is going to figure out where he can put pianos before he yes. makes more pyres. <laughs> um, so Zip is going to use Drop the Pianos, and I will remember to discard that card. And, oh, I'm sorry. I don't have any pass tokens now because we're net equal activations. Um, and you know what? I'll just discard one for one additional piano. And I will cheat for it to go off. And that is the what is even trigger. So what happens is I will drop two pianos. I will drop one here. And I'll drop one here. And what they do is with the with the trigger, models with impulse two mm -hmm. have to take a target number um, fourteen willpower duel or take two damage and gain distracted. And if that's the case, I'm cool. actually gonna nudge this to here. Uh, no, I don't, because I don't want more corpses next to him. So yeah, we'll put it there. So please take that test with Reva and the Grave Golem. Uh, cool. So willpower. So uh, target number fourteen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you? Uh, cool. So uh, let's do Reva first. Um, she is going to uh, take. Burning off herself to have a positive flip to this. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, well, it gets Aww. out of the way, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. um, cool. So uh, she gains distracted. And what was there anything else? Two, two damage. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so we will boom, boom. Uh, status raised. Cool. And then the grave golem. What is your willpower? I can't imagine it is particularly great. There we are. Willpower five. He's fine. Mm hmm. Hmm. So our next trick is going to be trying to up we go the corpse candle because I can't do anything else if it's there. Mm hmm. <laughs> um, stat three against your size. Oh boy. Uh, picks. <laughs> A fifteen. Um, care to cheat? Be cheating? <laughs> no. Nope. That'll be a straight flip, and I will throw you right there. You will suffer four damage. Uh, now when I'm putting down pie markers can they overlap pie markers that have already mm -hmm. gone so down that's fine isn't it it's uh, yeah. it's because Dropping it's down. drop yeah yeah um so uh, another one of these uh can i drop them in under your piano markers uh you cannot because the pianos are impassable cool that's fine yeah um <clears throat> So we will go for there, and uh, corpse marker as well. Now one of the neat things about this is um, because you died near Riva, I think you get your final veil heal. Yes I do, yeah. But... So that goes pop, and that goes pop. Yes indeed. Um, I will go ahead and put up my boring conversation aura. Mm hmm. Hey, goes off. And with my last trick, I'm going to go ahead and. Do I just run away? Uh, that doesn't seem terribly great, but you have so many things that you can do with that corpse right next to me. Um, uh, but I can do something about that. So I will take a shot at Riva. I think I can mm -hmm. see her. 
Yes. Uh, does... Actually, I can't. My pianos are height three, and you're height three. Your pianos height three? Mm-hmm. They're, oh, that's incredibly annoying. Big pianos. Um, what an egg. Yeah. What we'll do is we'll target the grave golem with my zip zapper. This does mm -hmm. ignore concealment and cover. Cool. And uh, stat six against your defense. Cool. Uh, at sixteen. You know. <laughs> I'm going to let that go. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. After that, uh, he is a showboat, and he did cheat his piano, so he will draw a card. Mm-hmm. Cool. Now, let's have a wee thing. Uh, now, with the dead rider, I can uh, ride with me out of combat. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Uh, yes, so I think that is what we are going to try and do. Mm -hmm. um, so he activates first of all and picks up. Where are you? Uh, and then yes, so we're looking for a six. Nope. Uh, so we will cheat in one of these. Uh, cool. So that goes off and go uh, this way. Two, five. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, with his one action left from being slowed down, uh, we will be going uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. Seems good. Um, I'm going to have Earl Burns go. Earl is going to use um, his free loot uh, I'm sorry he's going to use chain gang that's the thing I'm thinking of he's going to move zip three inches to there-ish. Then he'll go do do do. He is going to try and make a piano. He does not. He is going to try and make a piano. He does. He'll put it here. The intent being it completely blocks line of sight to him from the corpse and doesn't block zip, but hey, what can you do? Uh, that's an Earl. <coughs> um, right, yes. I have completely underestimated how annoying these uh, bloody pianos are going to be. Uh, let's have a thing. Uh, I think our friend the shield bearer hang on do a wee bit of thinking. <clears throat> so, uh, 
so the fine uh, Be indecisive. Look at you. Okay. Uh, the shield bearer is going to um, have an incredibly exciting turn uh, mm -hmm. where. That gonna get them in the way though. I think this Reaver to go. I think we maybe do. Okay, yes. I think instead uh Reaver is going to activate i just need to check the wording on one thing mm -hmm. uh yeah that's fine cool so uh reaver is going to uh wake up um she is going to summon a corpse candle which i stupidly got rid of the uh, oh i do that all the time oh yeah yeah there we go uh, let's drag you in there Copy. So uh, now I think I can get away with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Most you got this. With the, in the right in the door down there. Um, cool. So that gets rid of that one. Uh, you gain a pass token. Mm -hmm. um, that summons with burning. <laughs> cool. Now, she going to do about the fact that she's in a terrible, terrible position is the question. Um, she really doesn't need to be there quite so much um think in there's uh she is going to good or ill head off somewhere else so i think she's going to go um Yeah, is it worth doing a charge at all? So she will be going uh, uh, picks up burning because she's doing this in a pie marker. Mm -hmm. uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, let's just make sure this four, uh, five. Uh, are we just before I actually do this? Would you be able to? Would you say that she can get through? I'll copy her there. She ah, get off the tape measure. I've made her red somewhere. Is there enough space for her to get through past the um, I would building say yes. and the symbol? I would say yes. And if okay. and that was one that you had, I think nudged the start, and I yeah. think you would have intentionally left enough space for her to move through there. Yes, if I had known mm -hmm. there, if I had remembered that they were impossible, that would have mm -hmm. been. Lovely. Yeah, so it is no problem. Um, cool. So we will uh, go another... Uh, so we're about four. Five. Um, and then she is going to... Uh, I think... Charge the Iron Skeeter. Okay. I think so just because that center bit is turning into a just unpleasant mess of things. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, goodness, goodness knows whether this is the right thing to do or not, but I'm sure we will find out. Uh, cool. So, um, actually, a good point. Do I are the if the forests are dense? Do I actually have a line of sight to the iron scooter? Uh, line of sight? I don't believe so because dense. Uh, let's verify. Uh, forest trees concealing dense severe. Correct. Um, actually, can't, I can't declare a charge against them. Oh, you can. Charges. Can you? Have do you not need a charge? Nope. Ah, okay. Brilliant. In fact, oh, that is. like with Mantra, I didn't even have to take the attack for a charge. A charge is just a straight line, push your cool. move, um, that you can get a free attack off at the end. Brilliant. Sorry, I've just been past the chocolate, which is why I sound like I've got my mouth full. Right, uh, okay, in that case, yes, we will charge. One, two, and I think that's as far as we need to go to get within two inches of you. Mm-hmm. Um I'm just going to make sure that I am... Would you say that there I am wholly in the uh, tree yes. line there for purposes of mm-hmm. concealing? Cool. Um, yes, and then we are going to punch your Skeeter in the face, hopefully. My, my Skeeter would like to point out he did nothing wrong. Um, uh, let's see, you have a uh, distracted. Would you like to spend any of your other conditions? Um, yes, well, I will, uh, first of all, spend the burning that is currently on the Grave Golem mm-hmm. uh, to give yourself a positive, well, it'll just even out this uh, route of that. Cool, so it's a straight flip against the scooter there. Flump. I have a 14. Cool, so I'm currently on an 11. Um, so I am going to cheat this up to a, uh, 17. A 17 to 11. I'm sorry, not 11, 14. Blip. Um, you cheated an 11. So 14 to 17, you're on a negative twist. Yeah. I will take that. Yeah. Oh boy! Wow, uh, that's a, a, a twist of luck there. Uh, yes, five damage. I take four because I have armor one. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we will do it again. Okay. And I'm going to spend both. Uh... Sorry, I lose the distracted now as well. I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, I'm certainly going to spend focus on this. Uh, am I also going to spend burning question? Um, <clears throat> yes, I believe I will. So I'm oh. triple flipping. Mm-hmm. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yes, the same again. Uh, cool. So I'm on 19. Well, I'm on 18. Uh, so I'm straight flipping, I believe, because of the focus. That is correct. Cool. So it's currently uh, three damage, mm-hmm. which you're knocking down to two currently. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, you haven't got hard to kill or anything, have you? No. no. Uh, cool. I'm going to cheat in uh, just a moderate. Sounds good. Um, the Iron Skeeter has Demise Four. Flaming 1. So cool. you'll take a damage and you'll gain a burning. Fine with me. So burning and one, oh, wrong way, one damage. And then you'll heal one from Final Veil. Oh. And you drop a pyre because you killed something. Yes, she did. Uh, pyre marker. Um, now... Can I? Because I know with. <clears throat> sorry, I'm still getting my head around this. I only recently clocked onto the rule that, uh, like, placing things in uh, base contact when you're placing a power marker. Since I'm the one. In this case, who is creating it? Is it me creating it because it's Reaver, or is it uh, when you die, you're dropping it? As in, can I place it into base contact with myself, even though it has to be in base contact with you because you're the one that's dying? So, um, 
after this model kills another model, it may drop a 50 millimeter. So you are the one dropping the marker. Oh, brilliant. So it can be in base contact with me as well, uh, which I shall also do. And she's going to treat that as giving her shielded. Actually, we're dropping it. So actually, she doesn't get the shielded until mm -hmm. she's done something in it, I think. Mm -hmm. Is that right? That is correct. So yeah, it doesn't actually matter, but that's fine. Uh, cool. So she has uh, moved, uh, charged, and attacked again. Uh, not going to take a bonus action. So Reva is done. A very good activation for her. Uh, let's see. Uh, what do I want to do? I think... I will go with the first mate, and the first mate is going to uh, he's going to try and leap, and he does. Hey, he does not want you to score, uh, get that rider into score victory points, so he's going to declare a charge. And he's going to bonk you with his anchor. Oof. I have an eight. Missed. Dead. Right, uh, well, uh, so I'm on a 13 currently. 13? How does a 16 sound? Uh, I'm not going to cheat against that. Okay, I will have critical strike. Negative twist. Take weak of two plus one for three. And we'll go ahead and punch you a second time. That is an. Sorry, order. I have. Uh, pos I double flipped. You um, are you happy with me just to. Uh, I didn't know, I didn't mean to. I, uh, hmm. I don't know which one comes first, but I will shuffle one back into my deck. Well, if you hit the undo. Uh, Oh, it, should yes, put them really it should put them back on. Yeah. So just go ahead and flip one. Flip one and then shuffle. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, so yes, I'm currently on a, a nine. I have you on? an 11. Cool. Um, so I'm going to cheat in with this to put us at a um, 14. A 14, you say, um, you know what, that's fine, I will not cheat. Mm -hmm. uh, first mate is going, because he cheated one attack, he will showboat. Cool. Is that his turn? That is his turn. Ace. Um, brilliant. Now. What do we want to do? Uh, let me just quickly uh, check some wording, make sure I am getting myself in a pickle. Uh, Simmons Authority. Okay. Um, I think we're going to have this corpse candle uh, mosey on down the line. Uh, so they are going to... Uh, Three. 
Uh, actually, sorry. Um, is there anything I can do with the light the way? Is there anything in range? Uh, yes, it is. Is that in any way, shape, or form useful? Uh, right, just to absolutely make sure that uh, the corpse, yeah, uh, the grave can see that corpse candle. We're going to push it to that little gap there, because mm -hmm. uh, why not? And then uh, the corpse candle is going to still walk along. So one, two. Um, now, is it more or less useful? The uh, yes, it's actually. Sorry, and I'm faffing quite a lot. I'm a bit of a faffer. It's okay. I do apologize. Yes, um, okay. We will walk them uh, one, two, three, four, and one, two. Uh, to there. Okay. And that's the Tim. I think I will have the midnight. Uh, the hodgepodge emissary go rather mm -hmm. um, the emissary is going to go one two three four five five one two three four five to there and is going to use a weary road on Earl Burns. One, one, two, three. And he is going to drop a scheme marker. Fair enough. And that's all the emissary can do. Okay. Um, kind of range have we got? Uh, okay. Okay. Right. I think the uh, shield bearer. Uh, where are you most? and currently useless. <clears throat> I think the uh, shield bearer is going to uh, just head on over to one, two, three, four, five. Do you want to do any bashing around of Reaver Pool? Uh, yes, so I think the shield bearer will just end their turn there. Okay, is the intent to go through the burn the pyre or nah? Yes, yeah, uh, yeah, just to end on the uh, on the side of it there. But we'll take burning and also take uh, shielded from it. Okay. Hmm. What to do? Let me just take a look. See here. I think 
I am going to have um, my pass token go. So back to you. Thing. Um. Okay. Back to me. Uh. I think. Uh. Bet is going to activate. Mm -hmm. Um. She is going to reappear. Uh. With this corpse candle here. Mm hmm. Uh, which destroys the corpse candle, which creates a pyre marker, uh, which we will put. Uh, I mm, think I can get it in there mm -hmm. just and about. If, if not, you would have placed the candle such that you could. Is that all right? Yeah. Like, your intent is pretty clear here, so it is all good. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, Bet, uh, sorry, that kills the Colts Candle. Uh, Bet gets, uh, gets to take the charge action, mm -hmm. and she will charge the uh, Symbol Authority, or charge at the Symbol Authority. Mm -hmm. uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, too far. Five. Uh, and she will then take an interact to remove it. Mm hmm. Very good. Um, and then she's gonna think about life. Um, <laughs> does she want to? Let's put people here. Um, bum -ba -bum -ba -bum -ba -bum -ba -bum. Is she going to be potentially more or less useful? Um. Uh, we will under her over to here. So uh, one, two, uh, three, four, five, six. So yeah, sorry, I'm just making sure I don't mm -hmm. don't get her burning. It's about six. Seven. Cool, and that's the end of her turn. Okay. Well, you have Grave Golem and Bone Pile left. Um, I will have Mancha go. Feels kind of bad, but what you're going to do? Mancha is going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 with a charge. And he is going to declare his attack. Now, this is where it gets a little silly. Um, as a cost to declare a drop-down takedown, I can remove a non-scheme marker within two inches of him. Mm-hmm. And... So do you need a target for your attack? Uh, you check targeting after you pay costs. Okay. Um, so I should be just within two of that corpse next to your grave golem. And if not, I have rush, so I can go to there. I will discard the corpse. I will then check for targets, and I have no legal targets, so the action fizzles. Mm -hmm. Mancha is going to try this again. He is going to pick up the other corpse, and there's still no one for him to hit. He is very sad. Mancha is going to be done, and because he ends next to a piano, he will play a solo on the piano, declaring, my time is now, and gain shielded too. Cool. Rotating, to say the least. Um, Okie dokie, let me just check a couple of things. Um,
Yes, well, that's less than useful, I have to say. Uh, One thing, sorry, I just thought, does uh, the, uh, no, the Skeeter doesn't drop any markers when it dies, does it? That's the whole no. point of its demise. Mm -hmm. No, that's fine. Um, ah, well, that's somewhat upsetting. Uh, Right, well, that's really fucked things over. Uh, sorry, my partner's just asking me a question. Sorry, just give me a second. Yeah, no worries. Essentially puts my bone pile up shit creek with that paddle. And I don't think there is anything I can do about it. Uh, which is a shame. Ah, uh, what is the best thing to do in this rather shitty scenario? Um... I think I have any way of creating a course marker whatsoever, um, which means, um, well, okay, so the Grave Golem is going to uh, destroy the piano that's in front of them, mm -hmm. and um, probably just go for a walk. Uh, Is the I can't I can only I can only rotate him in half inches. If I could rotate him less than the amount he is, would you oh. say I would be able to declare a charge lane between those two pianos? I think you can. Uh, go ahead and try hitting Alt V, and that should give you a turn your cursor into a, a plus sign, mm -hmm. and then you can fine tune adjust the charge lane. Let me move it off so I can actually see first, and then... Uh, so that would be what I would go for. Looks good to me. Cool. Uh, so we should do it. So the first thing he does is... Uh, sorry, he should have regen two before this all happened. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, uh, yes, so we go one, two, three. And I think that's far enough. Um, cool. Uh, so he is going to flip against Mancha, Man uh, Mancha and we're going to burn his focus. Sounds good. Cool. Mancha flipped a 12, so I have a 17. Cool, so I'm on a 16, uh, which fails. I will be declaring Cage Fighter. It's a built-in mm -hmm. defensive trigger. It's basically a repost. Um, yeah. So 2-3, which can't be cheated. Um, now, let me know in the comments below, everyone, but my understanding is that a defensive trigger like this is impacted by the accuracy modifier. So since I'm only beating you by 1 to 5, my damage flip is on a negative, and Grave Golem is hard to wound, so it's a double negative to damage for this, is my understanding. Cool. Yep. Yeah, uh, you'll know better than I do, I'm afraid. So, take two whole damage. So, just a little little tap. 
sorry, just one moment. Mm -hmm. um, Cool. Uh, yes. So uh, my bone pile dies, I believe. Yep. Uh, my... Which is somewhat annoying. Uh, real quick, uh, Grave Golem will pick up a burning from the charge. Yes. And my Midnight Stalker will do something. Um, he is going to gain fast when he activates because of Invader. One, two, three. He'll just go to there with his first walk he will get my symbol he will take another walk one two three four five and he will leap hmm. and I will cheat this in and I will go here and again base contact with that symbol and he is also a showboat, so he will draw a card. Cool. He is done. And that's that's me done. I think that's the turn done. Um, so we'll do some burning. You take just a little bit. My shielded falls off Mancha. And... I had initiative, so I have to go in the order of scoring first. Um, we will both score the symbols. Mm -hmm. And I will reveal research mission. Because Earl is significant and he's next to three different types of markers. A symbol, a scheme, and a piano. Nice done. Um, I do not reveal my other scheme. Do you have any schemes mm -hmm. to declare? Uh, not anymore, no. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, going into turn three, I will discard nothing. I will draw a card. I will keep the card. And... Uh. Um, uh, I am going to stone for cards, I believe. Cool. Alrighty, what to do? Uh, right. Uh, how are we doing pass tokens wise? Right now we're tied. So after cool. initiative, you'll have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five models to my one, two, three, four, five models. That's not right. Six models. There it is. So you'll get a pass token after initiative. Cool. Brilliant. And flip. Uh, let's go for it. Uh oh, I've got a two. Um, uh, ten. Are you going to cheat? Hmm. I oh, you see nothing. Um, I will elect to cheat. A twelve in. Cool. I will let that go. All right. We're going to start with zip. Um, uh, I think, okay, uh, Grave Golem has a one inch engage, is that correct? Sorry, is that one inch engage? Yes. Yeah. Um, so we're going to, I think, fly so that we're not engaged by you. Um, 
everyone can now hear my pupper. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, it's not a problem. Um, we're going to declare a charge. And I'm going to charge... I'm going to undo that. We're going to have Zip go... He has flight, so he can make it anywhere in here. Um, mm -hmm. I think I would like to end he here. Um, I'm just going to check something. Okay. The building you're in is enclosed, so I can't actually throw Reva into it, which was kind of what I was thinking of doing. Yeah. Because that would be rude. Um, <laughs> but what I can do is I can go here. And I can try to target Riva with Up We Go. Would you like to take the hit with the Shield Bearer? Uh, that's an interesting question because I don't necessarily know if we want to keep... Uh, so that's going to push her back two, three, four, three inches. Um, she Yes. Um, no, I think... Oh, it depends if we're going to punch them back into the... Midnight. No, yes, we will. We'll take the hit. So okay. I will discard uh, this. Um, we will pop... Uh, do we want to move the shield bearer? Um, just in there. Mm -hmm. All right. You are terrifying 11 because of Grey Spirit's touch. Mm -hmm. um, I will power 5, so I need a 6 for this to go off. Cool. That is not going off. You know what? That is fine. Zip is going to use and drop the pianos. He is going to discard a card. Mm -hmm. He is going to be dropping two pianos if this goes off. And it does. I am not going for the trigger. So we're going to place a piano here. And we'll place a piano here. Box bit in a little bit. Um... And then I'm going to go ahead and try to put up my boring conversation. And I do. So that is zip done. Unfortunately, I didn't cheat anything, so I don't get to um, showboat. Cool. Uh, the... Rider, I think, is going to rear his ugly head. Mm -hmm. um, he is going to uh, ride with me mm -hmm. away from the... Uh, oh, God, where's, where's this page? I did write it again. Um, is there anything else that's worth doing? Uh, so we're on turn three, so he gains one. Sorry, he's just having a hard think about mm -hmm. no exactly what is best to do. Uh, where's your army list? There it is.
Yeah, no, I think he's just going. Yeah, so he's going to go for a uh, ride with me. Uh, so he needs a six. Yeah, that's fine. So he goes uh, straight line, straight as you can. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And incredibly irritatingly, that doesn't quite put him in base contact with the go symbol of authority. Move him back, uh, hit undo a couple times, go back to where you were, and then put up a five inch aura. Yeah, I think I don't think we're. Oh god, I think unfortunately. Oh yeah, you're just. I'm out. not quite in luck. <clears throat> oh. Which is a shame. So uh, yes, we are. So a bonus actioning to there. So uh, yes, what's the best? I mean, we'll just go as close as we can. So one, two, three, four. Uh, sorry, it's okay. fanning around now. One, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Um, we will then, uh, so we'll move once to place ourselves, uh, not, not there. Uh, so we'll try and sneak through this gap here. Uh, one, two, uh, and after that, so that's one walk action. Um, so I'll get rid of that, get rid of that, and then we yeah, we'll interact to uh, get rid of that symbol authority. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the end of his uh, thrilling turn. Mm -hmm. um, I think what we'll do is I will have to the shock of no one, Midnight Stalker will go. He'll eat a symbol marker. He is fast. He is going to walk. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, One, two, three, four five. He will leap. Hey, he does leap. To there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. So we will end in base contact. Cool. Oh no, I cloned him. Oh no, what am I doing? Ah. Uh, delete. Okay. Whew. Crisis averted. And I don't. Uh, I didn't cheat, so no showboat. Cool. Um, what do we want to do? Hmm. Yes, Bet is in a slightly uh, frustrating position. Uh, where is your car? Bet. Your grave golem still has burning on it, right? From last turn? Uh, yes, he should do. Okay. Uh, I think I removed his focus and ended up removing his burning as well. I think they're the same uh, keyboard shortcut. Just yes, one is shift. one is with shift and one is without, and it uh, yes constantly gets me. Uh, ah, anything useful that Bet can do other than just a waste actions? Entirely sure she can.
far that way. The rule about uh, sort of attacking through things like windows. Mm -hmm. uh, can, like, is that can is that something you can do? I um, think so. If you have range and you have line of sight, you can you can do it. Um, I don't mm -hmm. think windows say you. I don't think Windows have a special rule like you can. No. That's a shame. Just a little bit too far in the one direction. Uh, uh, yes, I think she's just going to have to waste her turn to some degree, which is... Or is she... Um, is there and uh, I'm going to zoom in I think there is a small gap between the piano and the wall through which Reva could draw a line of sight to that pile marker 100% you totally can yeah um because I believe the destroy terrain action isn't an interact action, so insignificant mm -hmm. models can destroy terrain. It's one of their best things they can do. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Just checking that. Yeah, I've not really had to come up against much uh, terrain shenanigans. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Okay. Stop faffing around. What is then the uh, best order in which we can do things? Um. Right, I think uh, Reva will rear her head. Um, mm -hmm. So yes, she is going to... Uh, oh, I've massively zoomed in my map. Hang on. If it's high, there we go. Um, so yes, yeah, she'll bring in a corpse candle with burning, and I believe she can just fit it in there, mm -hmm. which gets rid of that pyre marker. Uh, you gain a pass token if you haven't already. Mm -hmm. And uh, what can she do to get the most out of this turn? Hmm. Um. I think. She is. <laughs> what am I shielding now? That's not helpful at all. Okay. Um, are we? going to spend any time punching Zip in the face. I just feel like that is not a good use of time. Um, but is there really anything else as fun that she can do? Um, okay. She is going to spend a turn. What is Zip's uh, engagement range? He has a two-inch engage with his um, up All wheel. right, with me. Uh, okay, so she's going to spend um, a turn uh, walking mm -hmm. uh, to... Uh, thing is, is that if we don't get through, we're just going to get rid of a piano that is then going to reappear and that is going to get old very quickly unfortunately um, that's zip um. <laughs> yes 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 um, <clears throat> can you destroy terrain whilst in whilst being engaged yes okay there is uh, so the only restriction for we are is going... one inch. Okay. So yes, we're going to destroy that piano that is blocking the door there. You will take your boring conversation test. Cool. Uh, target number 10. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. So we will we'll get rid of that. Uh, and then do we just do a little bit of punching to relieve the frustration? Mm -hmm. And you do have a shield because you went through your pyre to move there. Yes. So. Uh, where's that? Uh, yes, go on. We'll take a frustration punch at uh, Zip's head. Okay. Um, I will be stoning for a mask. That's all right with me. I will... How far can you move with that? Uh, blasting off again is places it... me within six inches of his current location. Uh, I, I think I will also down for a mask. Okay. Yes, I think I will. I'm going to stone for a mask and uh, reduce the burning on the uh, shield bearer. Yes, reduce the burning on the shield bearer to uh, give myself a positive flip to this jewel. Uh, ah, sorry, I should have um, done boring conversation first. All right, I'll go ahead and hit undo. Uh, so let me undo. Oh, God. Uh, undo. So uh, I flip one, mm -hmm. that passes, shuffle my deck, and then positive flip for the jewel. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> so that's an 18. 18. I currently have a... This is willpower or defense? Uh, sorry, this is defense. <clears throat> I have a 15, so you're on a negative to damage. I will not cheat, but I will declare blasting off again. Cool, I'm also declaring uh, pulled here and there. Mm -hmm. Cool, so uh, negative flip to damage, did you say? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh. Um, so that is uh, five damage, I believe. The red Joke is just severe, isn't it? It's not like a it's critical severe, hit or anything, is severe it? Severe plus one. Plus one, so that is six damage. Mm -hmm. uh, I will stone to prevent. Yes. <laughs> I will prevent two, so I will take four. And then I place anywhere within six. I think... Do I... Does my trigger go off first? Mm. That is a good question. I believe so. Well, mine is after resolving. Yours is... Um, not specified, so I think that means it's after succeeding, and the comprehensive timing chart actually has like a when all those different timings happen. So we'll just take a quick look at the chart timing. as my phone takes five years to load. <laughs> um. So yes, yes, yeah, not specified. Oh, it's after, after the action is complete, but only if the model declaring the trigger is from the jewel. So, after the action is complete, so what does that mean for um, timing? Hold the phone. Almost there. I can't quite. I've got the timing up, but I'm trying to. Oh, what page is it on? Uh, the one I think I'm looking for is uh, the detailed timing, page oh, 35. All right. Um... Uh, so determine, so declare triggers, determine outcome, resolve effects in okay. order. Uh... So they both, so both after succeeding and after resolving happen um, at the same time. So because you are the active player, you choose the order that they resolve in. Uh, okay, so you can place yourself anywhere within six, right? Correct. And then I would get to move you three. Okay. Or or I shove you three and in some way influence your placing. Thing is, you could 
place yourself in between that piano and the building there, and I don't. That doesn't look like a thirty mil gap to me. Let me just sorry, I'm just going to pop you. Yeah, so if you were to place yourself there, I then wouldn't be able to like push you through it. Mm -hmm. Whereas um, a three inch from you to put you here, we somewhat. I'm going to let you place first. Okay. Um, Zip is going to... Can he... I don't think I can go there because of the wall. So I will place right here, nestled next to Mr. Golem and the piano. Uh, and then I either get to push you or myself three inches uh, I'm just going to delete your original there um, so we have walked we have destroyed we have done that so there's nothing else to do uh, okay we're going to push you uh, three inches into the pie marker so one uh, let's just do that properly one two We'll leave you there. Sounds good. I will get a burning for going into the pyre. Yeah. Um, uh, cool. That's the end of Reba's turn. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Pretty productive turn, all things considered. Um, I think we'll have first mate go. And first mate is going to declare a leap. And he is going to be stoning for a mask. Uh, he gets it. Uh, but I will, in fact, cheat this ram in. A, for showboat, and B, to get the sudden strike trigger. So I get to punch you when I land. So I will bonk your dead rider with for free. Cool. Uh, that is a 19. That is not. Um, I cannot let me just declare pull up his card. Where are you? So, defense 6. Um, okay. I'm going to cheat in uh, up to a 16. Okay, so I'll be on a negative. Do you wish to declare your defensive trigger, and do you want to spend any fate tokens on it? Yeah, when resolving, reduce the damage for each. Yes, that's, thank you for reminding me that I have to do that now. Um, yes, what's your damage track, the first mate? Two, three, five. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm on negative, uh, so mm -hmm. most likely two to three. So I'm going to spend uh, two. Actually, I've got a crow in this already, so I'm only going to spend... Uh, so I've got a crow from the flip, and then uh, I'm going to spend one of my... Uh, uh, brain, uh, one of my uh, we'll token. fake tokens. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so yes, I've got hard to wound, and... So is it triple negative? It'll be three cards, pick the worst. And that'll be week of two, so you take nothing. Cool. I will now punch you again. Mm-hmm. That's fair. So I'm on a 17. I am on a 13. Uh, I think I will elect to... Do I want to? Um, that will fail. I will cheat again. Alright, attack again. Brilliant. Um, oh boy. Mm -hmm. Yep, 
19. First mate fails, that's fine. Um. Uh, he's a showboat, though. Draws me a card. Brilliant. Cool. Is that the end of the that first mate's turn? Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Uh, so I've got the shield bearer, bet, corpse candle, grave golem left, I believe. Mm -hmm. And I have emissary, earl, mancha, and a pass token. Brilliant. Um, excuse me. Right. Uh, the corpse candle, I believe, is going to uh, go uh, one, two, Three. Make sure it's right in there, mm -hmm. uh, and then destroy that piano. Seems good. And that's that turn. Uh, we're going to have Mancha go. Mancha is going to go silly. Uh, his first trick is he's going to do drop down, take down onto the grave golem. Mm -hmm. He is going to elect to remove a non-scheme marker within two inches. And wouldn't you know it, there's a pyre marker. So I'm somehow going to pick up your pyre marker and punch you with it. Sounds good to me. Um, stat six against your defense. Let me just grab the Grave Golem's car. There you are. Uh, cool. Uh, flipping. So that's eight. I have a 16. Cool. Um, you have a 16. Uh, I think we are going to che cheat this up to a 14. Sounds good. I will not cheat. I will be declaring mutilate. Mm -hmm. When resolving, if you oh, have, sounds lovely. you gain slow. Uh, if you had slow, you would take mm -hmm. plus one damage. Uh, because I picked up an, uh, a marker and hit you with it, you gain injured. Um, mm -hmm. And negative twist to damage. Are you hard to wound as well? Yes, also hard to wound. So three cards. Pick the lowest. Um, and that'll be week of three. Um, one, two, three. And I gain slow, yep. Yeah. I am now going to punch you a second time with drop down take down. Mm -hmm. And I have a 19. <laughs> um where are I? I just had the card over. There we go. Uh I'm on 17. Okay. Uh well, I Yeah, I won't be cheating. Um you know what? I will declare bold over just because I can. Mm -hmm. So it'll be another double negative. So that's week of three more. Um, you go away from me, which means you bonk into zip. And then Mancha pushes towards you. there he is now within two of the pyre marker he is going to mm -hmm. use um, he's going to discard a card to flurry he will elect to pick up the pyre marker and bonk the grave golem with it Excellent. I have a 14 I have a 11 uh, I am not going to cheat. Okay. Um, I don't think I've cheated either this entire activation, um, so I'm not going to bother, um, because you're also on anything but black will bury you, right? Uh, yes. So that's fine. Um, it'll be another triple negative and no black, so another week of three. So, yes, uh, I, uh, so I go down to zero, I then heal four, 
and uh, disappear. Mm-hmm. Mantra will end his activation. He gains two shielded because his time is now. <clears throat> uh, uh, cool. Uh, let me just double check something. Uh, okay, so then uh, the Grave Golem activates and uh, treating the corpse candle as a corpse marker mm-hmm. uh, pops out of the ground. Mm-hmm. Um, now... If we were to go here... Um, Then kill the corpse and try to work out exactly where it's best to pop this nasty chap. Okay, so um, he was to go there, um, then a pyre marker to drop there. He is going to. Uh, I think if there's something clever I can do, but I don't think I can quite quite do what I want, which is a real shame. Um, sorry, I'm just gonna take this back, and I'm I'm. Uh, it's okay. A bit frustrating. Um, if I was to put that base there, okay. So he is in base. If he was to be there, and then this was to be, um, I'm giving myself away a bit here, but I need. It. If we are uh, counting something as on. Uh, someone's side of the table mm-hmm. is it uh, like any part of the token or does it need to be the center point of the token oh no it's any part of it it, it doesn't cool. say holy within, uh, right so just cool. the tip is fine cool uh, in that case we will we'll, uh, do the setup as as here mm-hmm. uh, we'll get rid of the uh, um, and then he uh, still has one AP Mm-hmm. in which to do something uh, exciting. Um, and uh, he will, um, again, sorry, let me just check the wording <laughs> of something. That's fine. Uh, cool. He will uh, go one, two, three, four to there. It's the end of his turn. Okay. Um, let's see here. Well, I think uh, we will have that's what we'll do. Earl will go. Earl is going to take a walk. One, two, oh, no he's not. Aha! Earl is going to take a walk this way. One, two, three, four, five, because he was a little bit in the forest there. Four, five, four, five. We'll go there. He is going to chain gang the emissary. One, one, two, three. And then Earl will move to stay within three. One, two, three. And he's going to say, stop dropping things. And he does. And I'll put a piano right there. Which should make it impossible for your 50 mil base to get through unless you climb on top of the boxes. Making it just a little bit harder. Uh, That's Earl done. 
Why not, eh? <laughs> uh, I believe I have a uh, Bet Noir and the Shield Bearer. Mm -hmm. Go. <clears throat> um, so, what are they going to do with their lives? Um, excellent question, to be honest. Um, um, okay. Uh, we will have the Shield bearer. No, let's not get carried away. We want them to be here. So, um, yes, the shield bearer is going to go. Uh, uh, oh, there. No, sorry. Um, Bet is going to activate instead. Um, Bet has a movement of six. So I'm hoping she's going to be able to go at one. Uh, I'm just going to make sure I copy her. One, two, four, five, six. She picks up a burning. And then with her second action, she is going to uh, place a scheme marker. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, cool. Over to you. Uh, let me just get rid of the original there. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have the emissary go. Emissary has a 50 mil base. And so I believe can see zip around mantra. think. Let me do it the other way. Nope. And that's okay. We will use a weary road on Mantra and we'll just move him ever so gently that way. And we'll drop a scheme marker. And we're going to heal Zip. Um, it goes off. That's will... fair enough. I will declare something in my pack, and we'll give Zip a Vitality Potion. Zip will heal two. Doot doot. And I will go ahead and I will try and heal Zip again. Hmm? And you know what? I will cheat this in for it to go off. And I'll heal him three. Doo -doo -doo. Emissary is done, and I believe I am out of activations. Brilliant. I just have the uh, shield bearer left. Mm -hmm. um, and thing, <clears throat> he will. Uh, um, Tend to just to give Reaver a kick in the arse and move her along. Uh, yeah, yes, I think we might do that. Uh, shield bearer, shield bearer, shield bearer. There you are. Um, okay. So yes. Um, he is going to uh, charge Reaver. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, um, and, and yeah, flip and relent. Um, shame doesn't get a mask, but that's all right. So Reaver just goes uh, one, two, and takes back. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, 
And that is... Oh, actually, the Shilberry's then got a little walk, hasn't he? Uh, uh, there's no quartz markers to remove. Real shame. So uh, Shilberry will just tuck himself in there for... Uh, actually, no. That's a waste of a turn. Uh, he will just uh, focus. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. Um, so that's the end of turn three. That is. I take it you're going to reveal. So the I. Uh, yes. So the Grave Golem gets research mission mm -hmm. uh, on the, on that lot, and uh, I also scored one for the strat as well. Mm -hmm. So I have it as uh, three to just three. Reveal. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, and just so you know, we are entering the final hour by now. Yep, thank you for final hour. We are at 57 hour. minutes. Okay. It's all right. Uh, cool, apologies. I'm just going to dash to the loo again. I will pause the timer. Okay. Sorry. Yep. Cute. Back in a moment. Right, what do we need to do? I think I need to do a bit of burning damage. Uh, mm -hmm. Reaver is going to take one. She shielded. Um, just lower shielded uh, take one damage battle's going to take one grave going to take one uh and zip i believe will take one uh zip has i took his before i went to the the washroom so he, ah, cool. he healed not to ten, problem went down to nine i will not Fantastic. discard anything uh i will uh and uh, actually sorry i should get that there Reshuffle and then discard that to there. Uh, one, two, three. I will four. keep this hand. So will I. I think. Uh, um, right, sorry, what's the current sitch with? You've got a pass token towards this flip. Mm -hmm. um, yes, you do, don't you? Um. Can soul stones do towards an initiative flip? Can they be used to mm -hmm. help? Does it just give me a positive flip? Oh, I'm sorry. No, you cannot stone for a positive on initiative. No. Um, yeah. Sorry. Is there, any, is there? Can they do anything towards initiative? Uh, or, not um, to my knowledge. The, it's like there's no no. No, that's fine, that's fine. Cool, uh, yeah, we'll just flip for initiative then. Okay, just a moment. I'm going to read a thing real quick. Okay. Um, Inish? Hoo -hoo. I have a two. I have a seven. Hmm. Uh, do you wish to cheat? Hmm. Do I? <sighs> I think I do. Um, primarily because I think if I don't, you get a strategy point this turn easy peasy. And I don't want it to be easy peasy for you. I want it to be a little bit difficult. Um, I think that's fair enough. And so, we'll say Red Joker. Fair enough. <laughs> um, cool. I will then not. Oh yeah, there's nothing I, can, nothing I can really do about that. Let's see. You have so, one, two, yes. three, four, five models. I have one, two, three, four, five, six models. So you will gain a pass token. Sure. Cool. I will elect to activate Zip first. Uh, Zip is going to make sure he doesn't get into engagement. He's going to go here with a walk. Um, you know what? He might as well try a charge on the shield bearer. Same difference as a walk. Um, so terrifying for me. I pass terrifying. 
Up we go, Mr. Shield Bearer. Cool. Uh, I flip against that. That's a 15 uh, to your height. Cool. Uh, oh, I just lost my Shield Bearer's card. Uh, sorry, your total was 15. You have a total of 15. I have a total of 15. I don't. Sorry, I was oh. just I was clarifying your total. Yep. Um, so, do I want to close that at all? Um, do you pick up and place me, or is it a push? Um, this is a place, and it's a severe injury. Um, so it places you within three. Um, your total, I'm sorry, is, you said f six? It's currently uh, six, yeah. Six, yeah. 15, so be a straight. Shooting in... Um, yeah, so the best I can do really is e equal it. Uh, uh, right. Uh, sure, let's at least try and close the gap a little bit. Um, so, yes, uh, we are on a 11. Okay, and you are hard to wound. You are not hard to mm -hmm. wound. Uh, no, sorry, hard to kill. Which is even better. Um, so single negative. You would take moderate of three, which goes to two. Which you'll regen with Grave Spirit's Touch, which is less than ideal. But I will throw you back there. And you'll gain an injured because of mm -hmm. severe injury. I will fly again. What is the Grave Golem's engagement? Uh, just one. One. I believe I will double check that for you now. Grave okay. Golem, where are you? Yes. Okay. Well, I will end within here. So I'm in two inches of Grave Golem, but not engaged by Grave Golem. Um, so I'll get rid of my dude. I have one more action. And you know it. You love it. I'm going to be dropping pianos. Um, I will be discarding. Fair enough. Um, the two and the black joker that I've been holding for all game to drop two additional pianos mm -hmm. and I get the mask happy days uh, what is even trigger so I will drop three pianos all within six of zip Okay, come on these are all over here Get rid of his movement. Six and two. All right, so piano the first. We'll go here. Piano the second. We'll go here. Piano the third. We'll go here in such a way as it's um, not overlapping anything and just being a, a general nuisance. Um, anyone within Pulse 2 of those pianos, which is Bet, Riva, and Grave Golem, must take a TN 14 willpower duel or suffer 2 damage and gain distracted. Cool. Yes, um, so let's go for the uh, Grave Golem. So willpower target number 14, you say? Bump. So mm -hmm. he doesn't i'm gonna cheat in that so um he passes uh bet what's your numbers uh, <clears throat> um uh willpower jewel um Okay. Um, sorry. Mm -hmm. She is going to flip this. Uh, she fails. Uh, how much damage does it do? Two damage. And is it having other nasty effects? Distracted one. Distracted one. Okay. Um, because this. The, I. Would be able to declare my defensive trigger off this. You would I not. Believe, wouldn't I? Nope. How this, come? Uh, this is a tactical action. This is not an attack. Uh, 
So you only get defensive trick. So because it's still a so get... the willpower duel is not happening. It's a it's not an opposed duel against you. So mm -hmm. uh, I see. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, that makes sense. It's fine. Uh, um, is she that bothered though? Uh, um, yes, I think she probably is. Okay. Uh, so we are going to cheat in that, uh, which conquers that, and then um, Reva herself. Uh, she is going to lower the burning on Bet mm -hmm. uh, to give herself positive flip to this, and she's fine. Perfect. Zip's last trick is to put up his boring conversation, which he is currently not. He will cheat, so it goes off. And that will be Zip's activation, and because he cheated, he is a showboat and draws a card. To the end of your turn? That is the end of Zip. Uh, Okie dokie. Uh, let me just think about the best way to go about this. Um, okay. Um, I believe. Uh, the dead rider mm -hmm. is going to smack the first mate in the face. Okay. You also have four more um, to um, do. Uh, oh, I've just given them to him. Mm -hmm. That's not all right. One, two, three, four. Uh, cool. So, yes, I'm smacking him in the face. Uh, uh, I am going to... Yeah, that is 16. I have a nine. Um, and you know what? I will not cheat. Okay. Um, I am... Let me just... Uh, it's not useful at all. Um, cool. I am declaring this with... Um, how many was that? That. Um, let me do a little bit of thinking. Mm -hmm. Now, I do have Butterfly Jump, which is after resolving your attack, I move up to three. So just mm -hmm. keep that in mind for uh, <clears throat> where you place me with Reap. Mm -hmm. What is the exact wording on that. Let me see if we look. First mate. Uh, do you move? Okay, so you move. Um, okay. No, that's cool. Um, brilliant. Okay, let me uh, get rid of him for now. So that was an aura of... Okay, so... Um, I am putting in uh, where this page. I'm putting in uh, seven crows into this. Mm -hmm. um, just a which few. Which gives me that. So <laughs> yes, just a few. Uh, so the first thing we're doing is we'll, we'll flip the damage. Mm -hmm. um, what was the gap in our duel? Sorry, I was on a sixteen. And this is my defense here. I am at yeah. a nine, so you're on a straight flip. Straight flip, fantastic. Uh, hey, severe. Oof, that is five damage. Uh, you know what? I will take it. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and then... Um, oh, I just thought... Well, I, I can't push through you. What I would have done is wanted to walk to the other side of you and then declare this attack. Um, if that is what your intent was and you got a little excited with the measurement, I totally understand. You measured, you walked around and then you did this. You know? 
Yes, that would be, because otherwise I'm just going to bump straight into you, aren't I? I can't tell um, you. Let me think, actually, time. if there's a way, because I don't have to go... No, no, that's fine. I think I can get away with uh, just... Because I can charge in the direction. I was very fo I was very focused on this pass, where I can mm -hmm. also move in this direction. Um, mm -hmm. That's fine, but thank you. That's very kind that you would have let that go. I I've, um, I've been there myself, like, plenty of times. Cool. So I am... Um, uh, ah, no, that's I, that's why I wanted to be on that side because of the bloody piano marker. Mm -hmm. um, let me just think if there is any way to make this work now. I don't think there is going to be. Because um, if I was to walk to there... Uh, The box is there. Uh, the entire thing is height too, isn't it? That's my understanding. Yeah. Uh, next to the symbol of authority. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and there's nothing saying that the rider can't stand on boxes. So, if we were to go, um, so we've got as close as we can with a push to say here, um, we then would, sorry, I know I'm revealing my whole plan to you here, but uh, it's, it's okay. Anyway, I'm going to be able to work through it. Uh, and then he was to go, he was to push five inches. One, two, three. Um, would I have in enough movement to say be here i don't think i would would i um the problem is that a push won't can't go up climbable uh, push yep. mm -hmm. a push a push can't climb no, that, that's fine that's fine so that's just that's just not going to happen ah that's so annoying i really thought i had this uh move sussed out but i really don't ah uh, that's such a shame um Okay, what can we do instead? Let's stop. Let's stop moping. What can we do instead? Um, okay, so if you're yes, if you're kind enough to let me uh, mm -hmm. do my walk, then instead, uh, mm -hmm. so we would have walked uh, to the other side of you to here, um, which then uh, would have meant uh, I would have. If I wanted to end up in the same place, we're not moving seven inches. Oh god, we're not moving seven inches. We are I wanted to end up uh, uh, there. So uh, moving eight inches, which means that we're spending four tokens. Um, so I get rid of four. One, two, three, four. I move myself. Um, make sure I now it is a push. One. So this is a straight line as well with reap. Yes, which I think. Um, oh, let's not get too excited. As long as I, uh, what was the command to to Alt V? Uh, let me get off, and then I think there is a straight channel that I can move in towards Earl there. Oh, for sure. So I'm just going to do that. So we are. Uh, one. Uh, so sorry, I discarded four. Mm -hmm. So I'm moving eight. So uh, one, two, move two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. uh, to there. Uh, I then place. Uh, so make sure he's down. I place your your First. chap into base to base contact with me. Mm -hmm. mate. Uh, to there. Uh, cool. And now I will butterfly uh, jump. Uh, I am then. Yes, please do. Um. So you have me there. So I will go up one. Or one. Uh. Whoop. And I will just go here. 
base with you nudged between the barrels and that so if you try and do your bonus to push uh you can't push directly towards the symbol because you'll run into my base that is fair enough um so in that case uh i will declare my bonus action to revel in death mm -hmm. um we've got six inch range so we've got the hodgepodge earl and the first mate um, and I'm going to uh, flip for it. So we need a six. We don't get that. And I'm going to, I'm spending uh, all, uh, as we were spending four of, uh, oh, not meaning to move him. Uh, I'm cheating in this and I'm spending uh, four crows um, to get the five needed for soul fire. Sounds good. Which means that, yes, yeah, so all. Um, uh, any models within range suffer one damage uh, plus uh, three. So we're currently doing four damage if, to. Um, well, not quite. Sorry, increase. Sorry. Yeah, increase uh, we're changes, doing three damage. Um, um, you do flip for and each now person, is, is my understanding. Sorry? You flip for each person, is my understanding. So you would flip. One. Uh, anyone with range suffer. I would have read it to. So any. So the, the sentence is: Any models within damage suffer. What? Sorry. Any models within range suffer one damage, and then when resolving this, increase the damage of this action to two, three, four. So it would be: Any models within range suffer two, three, four damage and gain. So do you think that I would have flipped for the move? But you think it's against each individual model. That was how I had interpreted it, um, but I see what you're saying. Um, my because I cause it says yeah, increase the damage of this action, and then it's any anyway, damage of the action, sure. and the action is just a single pulse of a certain amount of damage. Yeah, we can do it that way. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what you consider. Fair, I don't know what the fairest way of um, resolving that is. Uh, we could, if you if you want to, we can talk to someone on the uh, uh, on the Discord. But I really am not too concerned and not making a big deal about it. So let's go with that. It also, is that uh, would you consider that? Because doesn't say it's it <clears throat> doesn't say it's not. Is that flip then cheatable? Um, it doesn't say it's not cheatable. So you should be able to cheat it. Okay. So. Um... I will uh, cheat it up to a four. Mm -hmm. And first mate. Uh, so yes, I'm pulsing it. If you're if you're happy to consider it, um, I'm then yeah, dealing out four damage to everyone. Yeah, I'll go ahead and stone on the first mate because he is a henchman. He will take huh? two, and you will kill Earl. Bloop, which will get you a soul stone. I feel like I have definitely used more soul stones than I have marked down. Or have I? Or have I just you, sat there without... You really haven't been doing too many soul stones. No. Well, I really took too many, I think, because I haven't got any henchmen. Uh, I've definitely won stone for... Uh, I've stoned for my hands once, definitely. Maybe I haven't. Oh, well, I... Uh, oh, God, that's a, a model's worth of soul stones. Uh <laughs> Well, Should I think where else I would have used them? Um, I don't think I have. I've yeah. not stoned for damage on Reaver at any point. Mm -hmm. uh, I It's just whether I've stoned for cards more than once. I feel like I've only done it once, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm also um, not terribly concerned, because um, you really haven't been spending stone okay. at all. I mean, well, yeah, we're on turn four. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I have stone for cards twice, so I'm okay. going to leave it at five. But as you say, I think it's a fairly moot point. At this. Uh, cool. Uh, yes, that is the end of the Dead Riders' turn. Nicely done. Then. Um, well, I don't want you to somehow kill First Mate. I don't know how you kill First Mate. Because he's got stealth, so that helps. Um, but let's go ahead... 
You know, let's go ahead with Midnight Stalker. He's fast. He's going to eat his strategy marker. He's going to try and leap. He is going to fail. He's going to cheat. He is still failing. And he is going to go... One, two, three, four, five, one, two, and just kind of nestle up right next to the strategy marker right here. He is done, and he's a showboat. Huh? And cool. has first make on this turn? Let's see. I went with Zip. Uh, yes, it was the first thing he did. It was, uh, he... First thing was Zip. Uh, um, oh, maybe it wasn't. No, I don't think he had, because I've only gone with Zip so far, because you've only gone with Dead Rider, right? Yes. Yeah, so that yes, was, I think yeah, you're right. So First Mate still gets, still has a go. Um, hmm? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because I won... Yep, okay. It's always around turn four my brain turns to mush. Cool. Um, yeah, sorry, Midnight Stalker's done. So, um, what are we going to do? Um, I uh, just thought of something that would have been very clever that I can't do. Mm. But that's fair enough. That's the way of the world. Uh, okay, uh, this is where order of doing things gets even more uh, finickety. Um, isn't what is she going to do because getting a corpse candle there is useful to destroying terrain but uses up her uh, turn to do absolutely anything of any use later um just not exactly ideal uh, right okay um or is there going to be any way to get her over there? <sighs> so, at this rate. Okay. Um, right. The shield bearer is going to uh, go um, one, two, three, four five uh, and he is going to shield bash uh, bet okay um, um, real quick to put her into base contact with the two piano markers was unless is just just destroy have a one inch range or is it base it combat one, it has a one inch range ah would you mind if I took that back I don't mind at all I was thinking I had to be in base contact uh, sorry, in that case, I'm going to activate Bet, mm -hmm. and she is going to uh, destroy both of the piano markers in front of her. Okay, so simple duels uh, to pass. Uh, with yes, one of course, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so no the first one passes, oh, yeah. second one. What's a willpower? Please don't be a four. Passes. Hey, hey, there you go. 
totally forgotten about that. That could have been potentially disastrous. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Uh, now, is it a bad idea to... Uh, Sorry, I'm just going to pick up Zip for a second and mm-hmm. have a look at a couple of things. Um, your I would place off. Right. Okay. Um, he, she is going to. So uh, I'm going to uh, get rid of the spare one. Um, right. So uh, what's her face? Bet is going to eat the ski marker in front of her. Um, to it's only uh, enemy ski markers for Trail of Gore. Um, ah, is it? Oh, mm-hmm. that's annoying. That's a shame. Um, cool. In that case, uh, she will chill. Over mm-hmm. to you. Um. Dead Rider does not have any, um, what's it called? Defensive triggers where you punch me one, back, right? Uh, no, sorry. Yeah, you have one. Mm, sure. uh, no, nothing can punch back. He's got one uh, token left, but yeah, nothing that's going to do you anything back. All right. Uh, first mate's going to bonk you. Or try and bonk you. Uh, 15. To um, I will use focus to get a positive flip. Makes sense. Cool. So that is a uh, where are we? Nineteen. Yep, that'll fail. I'll try bonking you again. I've got a um, where are you? I have a seventeen. Cool. I have a eight. Okay, so it'd be a um. negative because a hard to wound. Would you like to spend that crow? I am spending that one crow. Okay, I have no triggers. And weak, so take one damage. And I will try cool. and leap, because I can. Uh, I am not getting it. I will cheat. I'm still not getting it, but good old showboat. He's done. Cool. Um, right. Let's have a thing. Uh... Okay, the Grave Golden is going to uh, attempt to disengage from Zip. Okay, willpower test first. Uh, yes. Uh, that is a very good point. Um, fails. Ah, oh, you silly, silly thing. Um, right, well, I don't know if there's any much point in him trying anything else then. Um, what can he do instead? Um, okay, he's going to try and punch Zip them. Okay. So, that is a 15. All right, you pass your boring conversation to punch me? Uh, yes, sorry, I passed it. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and then, we, then I punch you. So that's a, 30, a 13. A 13, you say? I will yes. cheat to a 10 with blasting off again. Cool. So, uh, I also have the knock aside. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Uh, cool. So we're negative flipping for damage, first of all. Mm-hmm. Um, Ooh. Uh, uh, that's four damage. Uh, you know what? I will stone my last stone to prevent. I prevent one. I take three. Mm-hmm. Boop, boop, boop. And cool. Then... Uh, I would like you to place do your. I would like you to do your trigger first, and then I'll do mine. I will go ahead and place myself right here. I then get to push you four inches in any direction. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, but of course, the bloody markers are impossible, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think actually that's probably ruined the small chance I had of doing anything. Um, okay. That's a shame. Uh, okay. Um, I'm actually just going to, uh, I'm going to leave you there. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, I will have Emissary go then. Emissary is going to push Mancha three inches with Riri Road. I'm going to drop a scheme marker. I'm going to heal first mate. Mm -hmm. It'll go off. I'm not going to give first mate any um, uh, trinkets. Uh, he'll heal one. And I'll heal him again. It'll go off, and I hit the ram trigger, which is extra supplies to increase the heal by one. Mm -hmm. And so he'll heal 2 plus 1 for 3. Emissary also healed himself when he activated because of healing draughts. He is done. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, okay. Um, the shield bearer is now going to activate it, and uh, he is going to charge Reaver and attempt to bash her forward. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's going to go... Uh, oh, that's not what he's going to do. Uh, so one, two, three, four. Um, flip and relent. Uh, so he pushes her. Doesn't get the trigger, which I believe is a mask, not mm -hmm. pro. Yeah, so she just goes uh, two inches. One two and uh, picks up burning for her trouble and then um, he will uh, just nudge up behind her mm -hmm. to one uh, cool uh, so both him and, him and Reva also pick, uh, not burning mm -hmm. shielded well, burning uh, and, shielded. and that yeah shielded Okay. Well, I'm going to have Mancha. Uh, cool, yes, that's in this time. Mancha will go. He's within three of Hodgepodge, so he gets plus one move for his activation. So he is move six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So I have to go in that direction. <coughs> Which means I can't get a charge off. Um, so what we'll do is one. Just one, you know, two. this is looking like it may be the last round because we can't okay. start a new round in the last 15 minutes. Okay. If that changes, just because we're on uh, 19 minutes now. Okay. Um, um, if that changes anything for you. Uh, it does. We'll just go one, two, three, four. We'll hang out in here. Yes. It, yeah. Well, it, it, we probably we would be able to. If I finish in five minutes, we can start the next round. But we would have to finish uh, whichever models the act is activating. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of up to you whether you want to go right down to the wire or. Um, yeah. Uh, well, let's the go speed ahead. at which I play. Yeah. Let's go ahead and um. See what happens. You do have Riva. Cool. Uh, yes. So uh, speaking of, mm -hmm. uh, Reaver is going to uh, walk first of all. Uh, so I'm just going to make sure I copy her. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Um, she is then going to 
Uh, don't think there's any any thing in the world that is going to allow her to. Uh, oh, and just for the sake of it, we'll just turn that pie marker into a quartz candle before she moves. I don't think there is anything in the world that's going to allow her to get that strategy marker. Um, Not with my I engagement can... range of think... two. Oh. No, my only the only thing would be is if I, if if on my with my second AP I was able to charge you, get my knockback trigger, but uh, I have not left enough room between the <clears throat> flank and the grave golem to charge down towards you. Mm -hmm. So instead, I mean, I think we'll just we'll we'll go for glory. So she is uh, going to ignore that and go. Um, now I don't think there's anything that's going to allow her to make that a straight line so she'll spend another move going one two three four five six uh seven and uh she will then uh charge um to um so to, that's all she needs to really do. Is that within eight inches? Yes, it is. Um, cool. So she takes an attack at the first mate from that quartz marker. Sounds good. Um, cool. So she is going to lower the burning on herself to give herself a positive flip towards this. Mm -hmm. um, oh, look at you there. Yeah. Uh, cool. So that is a 17. And 18. Cause stat oh, I'm sorry. He's well. He's defense five, so seventeen. You hit me. He also has one injured as well. He is that does, So you're on a single negative to damage. Hmm. Um. Uh, cool. Um. So yeah, we'll just we'll just do that. Oh, yeah, so that's three damage. Okay. And what cool. I'll do is I will butterfly jump. Mm-hmm and go nowhere because I want to stay cool. next to Dead Rider mm -hmm. and that's the end of Reaver's turn okay um, um, so you said what's the time we have it's exactly 15 minutes do you think with your next uh, with a couple of activations into the next round you would be able to secure any further points or stop any points would you like to play a couple of actions if we can um, well let's go ahead and um uh, score this turn real quick. Yeah. So uh, there's one point of burning on the Grave Golem. Uh, Corpus Candle takes none. Uh, we lose a few injured on people. Uh, mm -hmm. Raise. Oh, no, not raise. Injured, lower injured. Uh, control E, Control E. Uh, I think that. Oh, we lose some shielded as well. Lower shielded. Uh, oh, I gained a pass token. Lower shielded. Nice. Um, yeah. So I will say that I do feel confident that I can get the fourth point of symbols with the uh, Midnight Stalker. Yes, I would. I would certainly agree um, with you. And I don't think you can stop. Um, me from I feel confident, but with. Uh, sorry, go on. I don't think you can stop me getting research mission either. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I can um, stop no, you I'd getting be... research mission. Um, no, I've got the the. And I've got your piano mark. It depends. Yeah, I, I would feel. I think it's also whether you feel confident with the, between the movement and damage output. What just we would maybe need to play out if we want to is is whether or not I could reach that either one of the symbols of authority with the number of models. I have three models that can make, make an effort on the one that Zip is guarding if he left it behind, and I have both the Dead Rider and Reaver to make an effort on the one near the first mate. Um, you know, I I feel comfortable saying that I wouldn't be able to stop you from getting one of them. Um, because no matter which one I go to defend, you can go around to the other one and likely get it. Yeah, that would be, that would be my that would be my plan certainly. Um, 
Because, uh, yeah, so if you were to leave the first one alone, um, the Grave Golem would then be able to remove that one uh, and... Um, or rather, Bet would be able to walk down. I think I would be able to remove it. I would be able to walk the Grave Golem next to it and uh, secure... Or Reaver would ride, ride back around uh, and remove at least the piano marker and leave it open. And if it was the other one, um, yeah, if you if you left the other one alone, I don't think you'd be able to stop either Reaver just walking over the crates with her three AP, or uh, her spending her time killing the first mate and the rider scoring the point. I think it's mostly the bottom right one. I don't think between Rider mm-hmm. and Reaver, you have six effective AP. And a mm-hmm. three wound first mate's not going to stop that. Um, cool. So I'm cool with that. Uh, do you feel like you can I'm... score your other scheme? I most certainly do not. Okay. Uh, may I ask? What so I'm I'm scheme? quite happy to concede a uh, a loss to you then, based on the points we've just talked out. If you're if you're happy with that. Sure. That would be what a. Four strat for me, three strat for you, and then double research mission for both, so it would be a f- six five. Unless you've scored your um, other scheme? I most certainly will not. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, well, if, if you're happy with that, then I'm also very happy with that. I'm aware it's, we've talked it out, but if, you're, if you are okay with that, I'm very happy to concede a six five. Sounds good to me. Um, may I ask what you had as your other Fantastic. scheme? Fantastic. <laughs> yes, it was uh, Catch and Release with the Bone Pile as my minion. What a coincidence. I had Catch and Release with the Iron Skeeter. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> the, I, I, that makes me feel slightly better about uh, losing him so early. Um, uh, yeah. Yes, that was a real... I, I hadn't even... I, I, this is a classic thing for me. Of, I don't learn until I make the mistake, and it's like, bloody well, make sure you've got a course marker on the table if you're going to bury the Bone Pile. Um, well, you did. So yes, the, I think what correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, I so I, I that's you. that's the only thing that I have you and I, I I don't mean to say this at all. In a, I'm totally happy with it as a game. I don't mean to at all to say this in like a, a, a like a salty way. But my understanding of the attack action is because because it is an attack action, it is by its very nature a resistance duel, and by the very definition of a resistance duel. They are between two models. So for it to even exist, it has to have another model as the target. Ah, so we're going to go back to that um, detailed time- timing chart thing real quick. Um, but I, that, I think what I was cont- I, I'm kind of contesting is that, like, yeah, I, 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 I'm not at all asking to change change the game. Into it. It's more mm-hmm. a discussion about it. And I'd be enjoy- I, I was trying to do the search on the forums. I can't find anyone asking the same thing. Um, is just that, like, for the very concept, of an attack action to even exist as something that you can declare it uh it needs to involve another model because by its very nature it is a contest between two models sure and for the action to like like do anything other than fizzle you're correct the Mm -hmm. the problem is when you you look at under the take action steps you declare an action you pay costs, and then you declare a target. Mm. And right. you can declare an so action actually... that you can't do. Like, there's nothing in the rules saying mm-hmm. you can't declare a um, interact while engage, except the rules specify you can't do that. It's a bad example. Sure. Um, there's nothing saying you can't declare a gun action with no one in... no legal target in range but you waste the action and sure um and that's where but it, if, if you for example had like a gun action that had as a you know in italics um move this model two inches you mm-hmm. could theoretically declare the ranged action move yourself two inches and then be like oh dear it fizzled mm-hmm. precisely and that's that's where it gets a little silly with the whole it's a cost thing sure um, yeah he is a terror i was like I was just I straight from the straight off. I was just like, there is no point in even trying to fight man. Like he he is probably one of the most terrifying models I've come across. Oh, I like he's bananas. He is so powerful. Um, yeah, I was quite happy. Is this the cl- closest game I've had to? I've had, I've lost every single game so far. And I, but yeah, I, this is probably around my in terms of third edition. This is probably only my ninth or tenth game 
game. Oh wow! Um, y- you play so I'm very yeah I'm like very. Well, I thought because uh, I've, I've played lots of half games like with me and my, with my friends are both quite as you can tell we're both a little bit slow and faffy although I've sped up a lot. We only tend to get one or two turns in. Um, so I played about four or five like first and second turns but in terms of full in terms of full games this is probably only like my yeah eighth or, eighth or ninth game um so it's for me it's very much about what can i learn from each game rather than uh i, I was yeah that that's the closest most of my games have been like i lost a couple kind of six nil eight nil and the others have been like six two six three so i'm very happy with the six five that's um yeah that's no, nice no you you just, so from my perspective, Research Mission was a great pick because you can mm-hmm. put out those pyre markers, you can put out the corpse markers, and you yeah. can get schemes. <clears throat> so I knew you were going for that. Um, your ability to engineer that with the various ways you can tele- around, teleport around the board, pardon mm-hmm. me. Um, that was really good. I thought I had a. I thought I could pin you down better than I did. I mean,. It may feel for you that I pinned you down, but you being able to shift entirely to the left side of the board. Was... Yeah, I'm really glad. I wish I'd made that call even like a tiny bit earlier. Like as soon as I identified that choke point, then you know I think I probably I probably wasted half a turn thinking about trying to get through it. Whereas I think I think what what I kind of thought against Zip is like, oh, I, sh- I shouldn't I shouldn't try and um, outbeat his maneuverability because he can be... but actually, even though I'm not necessarily trying to outbeat your maneuverability. I actually do need a team that's really mobile so that as soon as I identify somewhere that you're trying to block up, I can pivot on a dime sort of thing. Because um, actually, that worked, yeah, as soon as I made that choice, I was like, well, actually, I can, you know, I can figure out a way. It was still like walking through mud with all the pianos, but I can still sort mm-hmm. of figure out a way through here sort of thing. Um, yeah, the piano... Yeah, it's where, it's where I wish I'd had... Um, I very nearly took Yin, which mm-hmm. would have possibly been a nice pick in terms of her bonus action to give someone the ability to interact, kind of delete an extra piano or something. Might have been a nice addition. Um, and uh, yeah, definitely I should have taken at least, I, or, or even I rather than Grey Spirit touch on the um, Shield Bearer, which didn't massively help in the end, um, spent it to spend Soulstone on. I could have spent an additional... Uh, Soulstone on getting um, the Restless Spirit involved and uh, he would have been able to zip through a lot more and also um, guarantee me course markers that, uh, for example, the Bone Pile and Bet mm-hmm. would have been able to use. Yes, uh, Restless Spirit is a, just, just for four stones, is a really solid pick. Um, yeah, I, I, I hadn't, up to this point, I, whenever I've been taking him, I just had an absolute abundance of quartz markers, and I was just like, I don't need this guy, like, I've just got so many quartz markers on the table. This is the first game I've had where, you know, I've gone from having three quartz markers on the table to suddenly having none, and really wishing I had quartz markers in certain positions, and that's where the rest of Spirit would have really come into his own. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, uh, oh, th- thank you for that, that was a really enjoyable game. Yes, I, uh, I really enjoyed that. Do you mind if I ask you a few more questions? Yes, of course. Go for it. Very happy. Since I've I've got you on here, so you you mentioned you're relatively new and you've mm-hmm. been doing you you did the November event and the December event for the Vassal World Series. Um, is that is that true? You you did both of those. So I liked that. I, I got. Um, I, oh, I, yes, I did both. So I did November and December. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, you mentioned you had a relatively small local meta. How is it compared to your meta versus folks that you're playing across the pond, so to speak? Like, I I don't know if I've got enough of sample size. I've only there are a small group here that play, and I've only I, I kind of got into third edition just as um, uh, lockdown hit and everything. So I've only been able to play against a couple of them. Uh, one of them is in a very old experience. I uh, said he. he himself is not very old as in he is a old time player of this uh, from second edition so he mm. he himself is also fairly new to third edition but he has uh, yeah, he used to play um he is from australia and he used to play um mm. in all the second edition tournaments there so playing against him has been an education because he although he's we're both working out third edition he has a whole wealth of kind of strategic knowledge to to pull from mm-hmm. um and then my other friend is is uh, as as new as as I am and has, has played less than I have. Um, so we're both kind of figuring out the game together. 
Um, so yeah, I don't know if I was, especially because this tournament has bans on second masters. I think from what I've learned from like podcasts and speaking to people is that I you. I, I would never I think second masters is like quite poo pooed over here like I would never mm-hmm. take second masters like it just kind of goes against I, I just don't like it and I, I couldn't really necessarily explain why I think I've just sort of take a rather principled pr- approach against it where I'm just like no nope, don't like it mm-hmm. um, and apparently it's very it's very uncommon here to have second masters um, mm-hmm. whereas I think that's more common across the pond or at least like it's not it's not got any stigma attached to it or anything uh, I mean um, kind of sort of um I, th- I think a lot of folks out here are definitely going into the camp of I'm not going to bother with double masters because it seems to be yeah. becoming the standard to not have double masters. I, yeah, it, it it just seems a bit superfluous to me. I don't know, but I also haven't played with it, so I'm I am ignorant. Yeah, I, the few times I've played into it, like it, it just makes for wonky game states. Like I played sure. Zerada, yeah, yeah, and into a, a crew that had three masters, and I was like, well, I'm I'm Zerada and I can't obey your crew. This kind of feels bad. But then the yeah, other, yeah. other night I played um, into a Ophelia Ma list with a um, with Mei Fang, and he had so many stones and masters that I could just box him in, and he couldn't do anything. Cause, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, eh, it's a thing. Um, yeah, yeah. When you and when we were setting up the game, you mentioned that you had not played against Zip before. Um, no, not at all. And I am going to presume you did a little bit of reading up on what he did. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Your what, if I may, what were your expectations going into the game, and how did they um, compare to your experience in the game? So pre us building lists, I didn't expect you'd have quite such a, like a, an elite list in terms mm-hmm. of like big hitting. I only have a few models. I kind of thought it would be a little bit more in the middle of a few a few weaker models. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I really, really under, like I knew, I, I knew it was going to be annoying. I knew that there were going to be kind of markers. I really underestimated like how, um, cause my, so my kind of game plan going to this was I was thinking, right, you're really maneuverable. You're, but I kind of, I, I really, I thought man, Mantu was really going to be the only one of, oh my God, I have to stay away from him. I kind of thought everyone else would be, would be manageable to some degree. Um, and I kind of had this idea, my, but my, my original game plan was like, right, what I'll do is I'll have this a bit, a bit of an amorphous blob where I've got like Reva, the Grave Golem, the Shield Bearer, kind of rolling forward with pie markers and aggression, and completely not realizing how much piano markers would just be like, nope, mm-hmm. um, to that kind of idea. Um, so I kind of, yeah, thought, I kind of thought maybe you know, they would be my kind of block. Uh, then the rider can be satelliting around, uh, and then I've got... Um, Bet and this bone pile to kind of be popping up where they're needed, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but that obviously kind of went down the drain as soon as I, I just kind of you know, the first load of um, pianos went down, and I was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> um, so that was. I, I, otherwise, I feel fairly. I kind of like I heard a lot about the first mate, like being a very powerful model, um, but I kind of felt like I played around him okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I think if I'd set up better, I think I could have made that big reap move work if I had like done a bit more thinking. Um, you yeah, know, if I had got the dead rider on with that, if I had been able to position it so the dead rider was on the left of him without having to use it, well, yeah, I think that that could have been played out better if I uh, had maybe thought about it. Um, but I'm kind of happy with that. I had this, I had an idea of being able to leap on the midnight stalker and kind of maybe if I, you know, I pulled enough onto him he would be worth getting rid of um mm. even with his kind of respawn i kind of thought because it only happens once a turn i kind of had this idea of taking one turn just to absolutely melt him mm-hmm. um but I ended, he, I ended up kind of being able to ignore him to some degree i kind of quite early on in this matchup i was like and even when i was building the list i was like rather than try and predict what zip's going to do i'm just going to completely and utterly focus on my strats and schemes mm-hmm. um which is kind of what i pivoted to here i was just like you know what let's just leave let's just essentially pretend you don't exist mm-hmm. and just try and get to the strategies and the schemes um which i think would have yeah if that because i i was going on i would have scored the first point of um catch and release on the second turn mm-hmm. if you hadn't got rid of the cults marker because i would have been able to spawn and i would have been in, engaged with uh zip with my bone pile mm-hmm. yeah that, um, was, that was a definitely a good pick 
Um, and your ability to chuck corpses with the grave golem to just say, all right, there is a corpse. Yes, I'm, that sort of never came up. That was a thing, because like, I, I then kind of, he was stuck behind piano markers and couldn't, I was like, oh, do I, 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 yeah, he never really got to show, because what's beautiful about that, a little bit like Manchester's move, is that um, the cost is the corpse marker. So whether or not he fails or anything, you get to move the corpse marker, um, which is nice. But uh, yes, unfortunately, the bone pile uh, fizzles into nothingness. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, like, uh, go how about go yourself? How, how, how? Sorry, go on. No, oh, I think we were on the same wavelength there. So, going into this, I I've put a little bit of time in with Riva, um, and I've played against her a few times. Um, and uh, in fact, my last round was also against Riva. And so I was expecting you to make a play for the center of the board and fill it with pyres and make it so if I go in there, I catch on fire and then I get punched to death. Um, so that's why I didn't take um, Claim Jump on Mancha, which I was strongly considering. Um, yes, and I, and, and I very nearly took Claim Jump, and I'm quite glad I didn't in the end because I think you, know, you, what, you can still hold the center in a kind of... Mm -hmm. annoying piano-y zip way mm -hmm. yeah and i was i think i realized it turn two that um you were not going for it because you when you started mm -hmm. moving the shift I, I went oh okay you're you're giving up the center which means you don't have the center strat scheme so that was a that was a misread on my part um the grave golem always coming back or, or being a reliable to come back model when you can mm -hmm. ge reliably generate corpses where I I have to find a way to get to your corpse candle, kill it and then remove the corpse mm -hmm. which is, you know, it's not easy to do, obviously um, and so you reliably have one corpse a turn to unbury stuff with yeah, yeah. Um, so I that that gave me a, a that was a problem it was also somewhat problematic in that you can turn any pyre or corpse into a candle so for the second point of research mission I was I realized after I had eaten a couple pyres with mantra oh I need to be careful what I'm removing because you could just run Riva and turn a pyre into a candle and then I don't get the I have to now put an effort to kill your model to get back mm -hmm. to my research. Mm -hmm. um, I was concerned about Killer Instinct on Reva. Um, for... Yes, I've taken that here and there, but I think, as I've already, I kind of have also realized that, you know, with no henchmen and only Reva, and she hasn't really got anything to stone for apart from to protect herself and occasionally get the odd trigger off, mm -hmm. I, I just don't need soul stones in this particular particular crew list if i had like toshiro or something then yes yeah. that's going to be rinsing my soul stones but actually in this list i barely needed them really yeah that was that's something that surprised me is how stone free you really were i mean you stoned for cards a mm -hmm. couple times but yeah and i mean uh, i just kind of there are ways to use it i probably could have made my, my, my thought was is that if, if ever you were guarding a strategy marker reaver mm -hmm. at least can charge stone for her mask and push you three inches away and then take an interact action. Mm -hmm. But that situation didn't really come up. And obviously, if you're someone like Zip, you can just fly straight back in again, which is incredibly frustrating. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I mean, that's Zip is frustrating. That That is his thing. Um, and I, I feel like I need to apologize for it because... No, not at all. Honestly, like, I think... I, I actually, I, yeah, I, mean, I mean, I feel like the score stands to the point you know like it, it, yes bits a bit frustrating but like you know we had a really close game and i feel mm -hmm. like you know with the odds tweak here and there like you know i feel like it was a very fair game i feel like if with very tiny differences the score could be inversed it'd be six for you yeah, like he, he is annoying but mm -hmm. i think that he's not annoying in a way that is not uh unfair you know he, like he mm -hmm. is he is just annoying and i think uh, I mean, he looks like a really fun master. Like, he looks really fun. Oh um, my gosh, his triggers are some of the the best to say. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, when I was building the crew, 
I did I did lean elite because I knew that Reva can put out a minimum of nine damage reliably with her reaping. Um, yeah. Your I figured Dead Rider was coming because Dead Rider is a very strong model in a pool where you need to be mobile. I mean, it's a strong model regardless, yeah. but um, so that's like two models that have min three and easily a bunch of attacks. So anything small was probably just going to get eaten. Um, and that's, yeah. that panned out. My two smallest models got eaten in like a single round. Um, mm. I was hedging for um, claim jump on something with emissary because I could you know, keep something healed up and topped off. For reasons we discussed earlier, I ended up not choosing claim jump. Um, yeah. Uh, Midnight Stalker is an auto include in in symbols for outcasts, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. He just he just kind of goes off and does his thing, to be honest. Yeah, and I took first mate because if you killed the Midnight Stalker, I would still have a model who could leap and interact oh. to try and you know cover both flanks for that. Um, otherwise, the Skeeter really was just a taxi and. Uh, Mancha, I needed to be able to clear your pyres because your pyres are. Um, and he is just a great model. Like yeah. my goodness, like especially with that, like that. Yeah, I wasn't even aware of that kind of uh, like use of his attack. Like even without that, he's also a great model. And then you add that, and you just think, Poof, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. And he actually has a little weird synergy against your crew because. One of his triggers is does bonus damage equal to the number of conditions on the enemy model? So you give yourself burning, and I can get yeah. you slow and injured by picking things up. So, like I w- I on the turn where I buried the grave golem, and you had the three conditions at two wounds, I was poised to do minimum five to you if I somehow needed to, just as a yeah, yeah. casual thing. Um, he's. He is certainly a piece that once he gets somewhere, he's not super mobile. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, he ended up in the in the forest up here, but um, I don't know. He's he's fun. Um, but yeah, so it was a great time. It was a pleasure playing you, sir. And um, yeah, definitely. Any? Um, I don't think I'm going to be playing in uh, January's uh, tournament, but I will hope. I hope we get. Uh, either matched up again in the tournament or uh, yeah be a pleasure to just organize another vassal game at some point absolutely um before we end the recording is there anything you wanted to shout out or uh plug or i mean i'm i, I i'm a uh a games ca- i'm a character artist for video games if anyone wants to look at my portfolio i'm always interested in kind of doing commissions and things for people it's uh just uh website called art station my full name jonathan pearmain so if anyone feels like checking out some of my artwork and things um but otherwise no feel free to just chat to me on the forum. i'm always looking for advice on the forum so yeah always happy to have a conversation on there all right we'll do and uh i'll include a link to your portfolio in the description so uh yeah, yeah. thank you very much man. Well, enjoy the enjoy the rest of your day Thanks, and you uh stay safe and yeah we'll uh we'll battle again soon i'm sure mm-hmm. all right take care Brilliant.